Welcome to the Enviro House How To. My name is Jenny and I am with Garden Sphere and today we're going to be talking about pollinators that are great in pots. So I have several different pollinators here. Some are going to get at least two and a half to three feet tall. Some are going to stay kind of short. So salvia is a wonderful pollinator. Some are annuals, some are perennials, and salvias have these beautiful flower heads. And in general, you can get most of them in four inch pots, which means it can be your centerpiece. So if you are looking for a really lovely centerpiece, salvia is gonna be your plant. Not only that, you could put several salvia in a planter, just like this. We got a purple here and then throwing in a lavender, which is another really wonderful perennial pollinator and herb. Throw that in there, and now you've got several different layers. These two salvia, this one here and this one here, are probably going to die back if we have a very hard winter, but this lavender is gonna stick around. So you will always have a really beautiful plant in your pot through winter, and you'll only have to add a couple more in here where the, the annual salvias have already, have already died. So it, it's always nice to have, have a perennial in with your pots when you're thinking of those pollinators. So you know for sure, if you don't have time to put extras in there, you know you will always have at least one. So salvias are fantastic, having that lavender in there. Um, I do wanna mention, this is another annual salvia bright red. Hummingbirds love this salvia. This because of its bright red color. This one's called flare and it it has these just gorgeous red flowers and the hummingbirds just dig right in and get that nectar. They absolutely love it. So it's another salvia to think about having the salvia in the middle and then putting some annuals around as well that maybe don't flower as much. Mint is an excellent plant herb to have in a pot. Now, the benefits of mint, you can eat it, you can dry it for tea for later, and if you let it get really tall and bushy and go all the way to flower, it becomes a fantastic pollinator for our native bees, honeybees, uh, butterflies, absolutely love it. They get these really gorgeous purple flowers. Sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're white, depending on the variety of the mint you have. So, so mint is fantastic. It's, it's also one of those, those herbs that you'd want to keep in a pot anyway because it likes to travel. So if you put it in the ground, you're bound to have mint everywhere. So it makes a really fantastic potted plant, potted herb. Another plant that is wonderful in pots is basil. Now basil is an annual here in Washington and basil not only you know, you're gonna use all the leaves, you're gonna, you're gonna eat it, you're gonna make pesto, you're gonna put it in pasta, put it in salads, but if you let it go to flower, it becomes a wonderful pollinator. So you have the, a, a pollinator-friendly a pollinator plant. So it gets these little white flowers. The bees and the butterflies absolutely love the flowers that the basils produce. So when, when it starts to get too big, you've pinched it back as much as you can, it goes to flower, you've just created a really nice spot for feasting for those, those, those pollinators, those native bees we have and native pollinators. Another flower that is really great is Sweet William. Now, sweet william isn't an herb per se, but it is a perennial and it likes to be in pots. You can plant it in the ground. However, uh, rabbits love to eat the foliage before it even gets tall enough to flower. So sweet william, it has this beautiful flower. It's gonna cluster, it's gonna flower all summer long, loves to be in a pot. Um, and it's gonna be great for those bees and those butterflies that are gonna come and they're gonna come feast. Now, I know we talked about lavender. You don't have to have small pots like this. We've got a, a very large lavender plant down here, and you can already see that those dark flowers are gonna bring in the bees, the butterflies. You might have a few drive-bys of, of other pollinators that come by, but the lavender is fantastic. Lavender will do very, very well in a pot. Another pot-friendly plant milkweed. Now this is an annual for us. Milkweed, we have a couple of varieties that are grown here in Washington and then distributed to the nurseries. Uh, milkweed 
Butterflies love milkweed. You can see that these flowers are going to be a nice, rich, orangey red. They're not quite open yet. But the best part about milkweed is it has all these shoots on the sides. The shoots on the sides are going to produce flowers as well. So not only do you get some height in your pot, but it, it will bush out a little bit. So then you could add a few other flowering annuals like that the, bird, that the bees and the other pollinating insects around will like. You could add some petunias, you could add some verbena in here, something just to spill over the edge while you have this absolutely gorgeous uh, milkweed in the center. Okay, now what I really like as well it, are these little ornamental peppers. Now the ornamental peppers, they will bring pollinators in because they're going to want to get into the flower and then you get these little peppers that are just gorgeous colors. So you'd stick that in there, have that in the center, and then you could plant multiple and have different different colorations. Um, this one is going to be uh, orange and red and cream colored and purple. So this is a really cool pepper. We've got another really lovely herb here. This is called winter savory. Now winter savory, this is actually the perfect pot for this particular plant. Um, winter savory smells fantastic. It's a culinary herb, but it also gets these great little white flowers all over it, which the bees and the little cyphid flies, all of those things, they love coming and they love eating on winter savory. Not to mention the fact that the winter savory, it will stay semi evergreen throughout the winter. So you've got a little bit of color on your porch in your pot for winter as well. Our last example is going to be this lemon verbena. Now this lemon verbena is already in quite a large pot, um, but lemon verbena, if you're super lucky and you have it in a protected area in the winter, uh, your lemon verbena will grow back. It smells delicious. You use it in, in cooking, in drinks, you can dry it for tea, but they get these beautiful flowers as well. So the flowers of the lemon verbena bring in those pollinating insects. Okay, so it's a really great one. Plus you can enjoy it throughout the entire summer months. They get quite large and they're super happy in a pot. Any herbs will work in a pot. Rosemary, eventually it'll get too big. So if you do do rosemary, eventually it will get too big and you're gonna to have to put it in the ground. For when you get those four inch pots, like with this, or a small pot like this lavender, rosemary is gonna be great in a pot this size and you're gonna put it right in the center. And you, you know, it'll be able to live in that pot for about four to five years. Thanks for joining us at the EnviroHouse How To. Make sure to subscribe on our playlist, leave a comment down there below, and we will see you next time.